Hey y'all, bonjour, bonsoir, buenas dias, buenas noches. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Let's go ahead and talk about this episode of Power, all right? Crazy stuff was going down. So Tyreek, he got his car back, like we know from, uh, what's his name, 2-Bit. Then he ends up selling the car. Him and Brayden sold their car to get money. Like, that's how you know you're down bad when you have to, like, sell stuff for real. Well, sell things that are, like, your prized possessions, you know? Those were things, especially Brayden, you could tell that he loved his car, but it had to go so that they could get the money to invest into other ven ventures, you know? So this dude, Don Carter, the detective, he has it out for Tyreek, like we know. He is going through every avenue, even if it's illegal avenues, in order to try to find more information. So he had Obi had him locked away for like a whole freaking 24 hours and trying to pressure him into telling him more information about Tyreek. He was bluffing, pretending that he had pictures of them together, just like doing the most. So he was definitely trying to intimidate him and of course he knew about the green card stuff as well so uh Tyreek is trying to get back in the game like I said and he's also trying to get help from Davis Davis is helping him to get some of the people that he knows or whatever and Davis is going to invest I think he said like fifty thousand dollars into it as well because things weren't really going too well with the person that he tried to connect him to Monet asks Diana, oh yeah, well, let me tell you something, Mo uh, Diana is pregnant, so we already know, that's most likely, what's his name, child, uh, Tyreek's child, which is wild, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, back to what I was going to say, so Monet asks Diana if she knew anything about, like, uh, you know, Kate Egan or anything like that, and she just said no. But the way that she was fidgeting her fingers, Monet could tell that something wasn't right and she was most likely hiding something from her because that was the same thing that she did when she was a child and Monet used to try to get her to lie about some certain things. It's like her body language gives things away. Body language can definitely, like eye movement, hand movement, fidgeting, appearing nervous, sweating, your body can definitely give you away. You know, and if you're the person or somebody who's very perceptive or you're just good with reading people in general, then you will definitely know when somebody's lying to you, you know, especially if it's those types of people where they, their body language just kind of screams, I'm lying. I don't know how to lie. <laughs> um, so Drew ends up snitch, snitching to Noma about the fact that, um, about the fact that Obi got green cards from them, from the organization or something like that. And Obi was so tight because they had some fake bond where he wasn't supposed to even tell Noma that he was locked away in prison, you know, by this detective dude because he didn't want the whole association with Tyreek. But initially drew played like he was part of the part down but then he was he mentioned the green card situation and that just effed everything up you know and he threw tyreek's name out there so once that happened it was like yeah no one wasn't effing with it like she felt betrayed she felt i guess hurt most likely so the only way to retaliate and to fix her pain and hurt is to go ahead and kill off the man stabbed him right in his neck blood pouring out done ko i'm like damn bro <laughs> like i kind of was starting to you know like him a little something like he grew on me <laughs> uh so noma she's definitely attracted to kane but there was one scene that happened first where effie kind of walked in when they were like looking gazing into each other's eyes and you could tell like I think she likes his dominance. She likes the fact that he doesn't let her walk all over him. Because she tried to put her hands on him and he was like, mm -mm, nah, we're not doing that. So, 
I think that she likes the fact, you know, some women like that. Like, yeah, show show me you got some balls, you know, so you can stand up to me. Because I'm already a very powerful woman. I'm a very dominant woman. I want someone to kind of put me in my place once in a while. Don't overstep your boundaries. But sometimes, you know, put me in my place. Check me a little son, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So that's exactly what he was doing. But when Effie came in, she just walked right in. That energy, she could definitely feel that things wasn't right. Like, she's like, mm, mm Crazy thing on the flip side, she's talking to, to um, Tyreek again. You know, she got inside scoop from him that there was people out there, you know, kind of selling or whatever. He did that to make sure that the competition was taken out. And that's exactly what happened. Like, he knows how to manipulate people, which is what Tate's brother was saying. Tyreek knows how to manipulate other people into getting what he wants. And that's exactly what he did. So after Effie and Kane had a little bit of a, you know, misunderstanding, a little bit of an argument, whatever, as they usually do, I feel like he feels like, and he pretty much said this, that he feels that she's going to backstab him. You know, he's going to be kind of like the back door with Tyreek you know and just kind of like play him out so him being worried about that homie once he leaves Effie because she had to do some work homie goes straight to, to freaking um to Norma's house and you already know it went down so he got the goods she got the goods so this might be a thing you know a little sneaky link situation ship type of situation <laughs> That, that could definitely be powerful though I, I could I'm surprised they didn't really show the sex scene like that maybe she didn't agree to it I don't know cause we haven't really seen her get it in with anybody we seen him show a little something but I was like mm. this was a little lackluster I thought it would have been more powerful you know I wanted to see a little a little action with them too cause I, I know like they're both such powerful people I could just be like oh Ugh, like I can just imagine it I know I'm so weird but I know, I can just like visualize and I, I don't know it just kind of didn't give what I thought it was gonna give anyway so while at the dinner table uh, Monet gets a video from her whole investigation that she's doing with Tyreek trying to find out who tried to shoot her and here goes a video of Diana dressed in a in a red wig like hers well, like something she would normally wear, the color, the burgundy color, go into Kate's house. This was from like Kate's ring light or something like that. I mean, not ring light, ring camera, whatever you want to call it, the doorbell camera, surveillance camera, giving her the information. So from right there, you know Monet was pissed. Like Monet tried to drag her. Luckily, her sister was still there, even though her sister's about to leave. Luckily, she was there to save the day because if not, she would have banged that girl's head in the table, yo. <laughs> and not even knowing she's pregnant. And her and Drew tried to leave, and you could tell, like, Kane don't play about his mama at the end of the day, and he was dead about to get both of them. Like, he wanted to shoot at them. But I think, like, he caught his mind, like, this is my brother and my sister, this is my heart, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really do this. But he definitely wanted to. If it was anybody else, he would have dead shot, you know? But, yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Like, what do y'all think is going to happen? I definitely think that Monet now is going to look at Diana differently. Like, that's never going to be the same again because that's betrayal, you know, at the end of the day. I want to see how the dynamic with uh kane and and this girl goes that should be pretty interesting as well with noma and um effie hmm, uh her and tyreek is definitely going to be getting a little closer i i think don carter he's obsessed so he's going to keep on going on this this tirade of his he's going to keep on trying to see what he could do to catch um to catch tyreek because this is like his life's purpose right now. <laughs> so he's not letting he's not letting up anytime soon. So yeah, that's that's that. But yeah, y'all, that's the episode. Let me know y'all predictions down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.